Welcome to Lyric Clinical's Folklore of Mestija. My name is Ella Cressman, and I am excited to share these wonderful stories of past and present with you. As an ingredient junkie, like many of you, I have known about the histological powers of Mestija since 2013. But it wasn't until I started digging into scientific evidence to explain topical efficacy that I began to fall in love with not just the skincare ingredient, but the magic of the ancient medicine. In researching such a unique compound, it was fascinating to understand modern medical applications, but also to hear the folklore of past, even now as I pass it on to you, explaining many of the unique properties. Folklore is the traditional beliefs, customs, and stories of a community passed through the generations by word of mouth. It is the combination of two words, folk meaning people and lore meaning stories. Folklore are the tales told by the people in a particular region, often to describe the inexplicable. Before science could contest or confirm these stories, they made perfect sense. Greece is a land rich in tradition and even mystique. Grecians are strong and proud people, and despite geographical location, their cultural roots hold strong. This can be attributed to the great global contributions gifted from this fruitful region. The Grecian influences reach every corner of the earth from ancient to present times. In fact, Hippocrates, known as the father of medicine, hailed from the Greek island of Ko. His influence is still seen today when the Hippocratic Oath is pledged as a rite of passage for graduating medical doctors and nurses into professional and ethical standards. It is safe to assume Mustiha may have been one of the many natural medicines in Hippocrates' medicine bag. The country of Greece is made up of thousands of islands, each with unique charms. One island, Chios, provides the unique and protected designation of origin of a powerful ingredient, Mustiha. Mastiha was the inspiration for one of the Lyra Clinical lines, the Mastique line, but because of its potent skin calming and strengthening capabilities, has since been woven into many of the Lyra Clinical products. In the Medicinal Mastiha series, we learned that mastija, or mastic gum, is a resin produced by the pistachio lentiscus tree. Though it is a cousin to the pistachio tree, there are many differences. Careful care is taken with the mastic trees in cultivation and harvest. For the tree to emit a resin, the mastic growers perform a process called the quintos, where sharp tools called quintintiri are used to make small incisions in the tree's bark or skin allowing the restorative sap to fall from the trees to the carefully prepared ground below. Before science, folklore described many things. This is the case with mastija, and the beautiful explanation of the mastic resin shape and scent have been passed through the generations. In the third century AD, a Roman Navy fleet led by Admiral Numerian arrived on the small island of Hios, Greece including a soldier from Alexandria, Isidoros, a quartermaster sergeant. He was a Christian, and at the time, Romans forbid Christians from being in the military. Isidoros and his Christian friend, Aminos, stayed in a house in the region of Campos. In the evening, when he prayed to God, lightning and flames could be seen over the roof of his house. Many of his neighbors were awestruck and convinced by Isidros and Aminos that the light was divine, and then they also desired to be baptized Christians. The news was spread quickly, and Admiral Numerian was furious, accusing him of not sacrificing to the Roman gods. When confronted, Numerian asked Isidro, Are you Christian? Isidro replied confidently and without pause, Yes, he would not lie. Numerian was enraged and ordered compliance in the cruelest form. Numerian tied Isidros to the back of his horse and drug him through the mastic groves between the mastic trees of Hios. 
after nearly an hour numerian stopped his horse and asked isidoros to denounce christianity when isidoros bloody and battered refused his request numerian ordered soldiers to cut out his tongue the soldiers dutifully executed his request, but Isidoros continued to speak, reciting Christian scripture. Furious, Numerian attempted to order Isidoros' execution, but was surprised that he had actually lost his speech, unable to give a verbal command. Silently, he lifted his finger to his neck, moving it from one side to the other with the non-verbal symbolic demand that was well understood. The Roman soldiers beheaded Isidoros, tossing his head and displaying his body as a symbol and warning of what would happen if one was disobedient. Miropi was a Christian woman from Rome who sought religious sanctuary in Chios. When she heard what happened to Isidoros, she felt compelled to do something. She located Isidoros' head and then carefully moved his body from display to a grave, reciting scriptures in a funeral and giving him a respectful, proper Christian burial. Upon discovering this, Admiral Numerian was furious. He ordered the guards to find her. Once they did, she was beaten to near death and imprisoned. There, as she laid on the cold prison floor, lacking strength to even sit up, she wept. She then heard a voice say, Miropi, all your cries have been heard, your prayers have been answered, and today you will be joining me. As she died, a fragrant mist filled the prison and then floated out into the night, settling securely into the protection of the mastic trees. It is said that the trees witnessed the cruel dragging of Isidoros through the groves and wept in sorrow, forming mastic tears onto the earth that was stained from his blood. The aroma that wept from Miropi was embraced by the trees, creating the unique Mastija scent. With modern scientific advancements, we are now able to dissect its chemical composition, explaining many of the clinical benefits of Mastija. We know the teardrop shape is the result of the Earth's gravity pulling the nutrient-dense resin to the Earth's floor beneath. And the beautiful aroma is the melding of fragrant and beneficial terpenes. It is the unique microclimate and mineral-rich red volcanic soil of Hios that lend to that region's mastija potency. A new modern-day folklore story comes from the introduction of Lyra Clinical's Mystique line. Originally, the color of the line was intended to be a violet-based purple, but a Panatone color accident at the printer collided with a stringent deadline, which resulted in the color we have now. This rich, earthy burgundy, originally thought to be an accident, could have been the Mastija speaking divinely through color, in homage to the mineral-dense soil that embraced and nourished the master tree roots. Mastija is a powerful ingredient. If you believe in magic or coincidence or unexplained happenings that later proved to have been the perfect answer, then understand Mastija as a lyric clinical ingredient may have been divinely inspired. Now at the close of many of our symposiums or classes, you may have been offered a small, sweet and fragrant cup of Mastija liqueur. But why? Not just because it had Mastija, or in celebration of another great class, but as a reminder of a medicinal comfort and calm, a metaphor to the topical capabilities. You know what's funny? When I was introduced to Mastija, my uncle took, our uncle took us out to dinner in Athens. And I'm not a drinker, I don't drink any alcohol, but he took after dinner, beautiful dinner, we were leaving the next day, he took out a bottle of Mastija from the refrigerator at the restaurant and poured everyone a little shot and all of a sudden he showed me the bottle and the bottle said skin -os. so we were doing skin and the os was a greek ending to a word 
So I looked at it and it was really cool the way the Skinos model was. Yeah. And then he started talking about it and talking about it. And he told me, take a, take a sip, drink it, which I did. And just the feeling going down to my stomach and that reassurance, it just felt so good. And it just opened up so many kind of emotions to me. And it's so cool. So when we do these seminars and we do these classes, we always end with a little shot of mastica. So people could actually associate with the actual ingredient and kind of remember that sensation when they actually go down that, yeah. <laughs> that was Metaxia Delicus, one of the founders. She is responsible for introducing the ingredient to the Lyric Clinical Board of Directors. It was her uncle, Dr. George Kokolis, a well-known Greek plastic surgeon who first made her aware of the potency, explaining the clinical medicinal potential, telling her to keep an eye out on the advancement of clinical use in surgery and pharmaceutical therapies. Mastic gum, truly potent mastija, is a magically effective ingredient. It has been used for thousands of years for many ailments, but is now showing promising clinical usage advancements. Current studies on the use of mastija as a therapy for gastrodigestive ailments and peer-reviewed papers on topical anti-inflammatory benefits are making exciting waves in the medical community. It is indeed an example of science discovering nature's secrets. Accepted international ingredient nomenclature may require ingredient deck listing as mastic gum or mastic extract, but as we learned in the Medicinal Masiha series, not all mastic resins are equal. Hios Mastija boasts a protected designation of origin, a qualification that confirms the unique makeup of the mastic tree resin from that specific area. To protect sustainability of the magical and medicinal Hios Mastic trees, Lyra Clinical has partnered with Adopt a Mastic Tree of Hios. For information about adopting a mastic tree in your name, please visit adoptaheosmastictree.gr or email Lenia Ziglaki at adopthiostrees at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in to Mastija Folklore. It has been my pleasure to share these stories with you. For questions, please call your rep directly or customer service at 877-440-5472 or by emailing info at lyraclinical.com.